concrete allows to build in a short time large buildings whose size and architecture reflect the ambition of our dreams of wealth and greatness, whatever irrealistic and unsustainable these dreams may be. If these dreams are short-lived, concrete buildings make a durable and harsh footprint on our environment which contrasts with natural surroundings. This contrast is even stronger when nature is claiming these constructions. In this video, I have put together the best shots of a dozen of such abandoned buildings, some of them having been abandoned before even been finished and used one single time. Some of these buildings are made from both concrete and other materials, such as brick or stone, but they share the same gigantic size and unmistakable footprint. Some of these buildings have already been explored in this channel, and you can find the link in the video description. Some other buildings were not judged interesting enough for a full video, so here is a good opportunity to share them with you. Here are four hotels from Phuket Island in Thailand. They share the same fate. Construction has been stopped before completion, leaving huge structures made of concrete with various states of completion, abandoned and reclaimed by nature before having been used even one single day. The reasons for the hotels not being completed can be various and complex. If one of them have suffered from the tsunami in 2004, others are not located in places where this has been a factor. Reasons for stopping the development can include lack of fundings and legal disputes over ownership and legal status of the land. These buildings are really impressive for their proximity with the magnificent Blue Sea and from the effect of nature reclaiming the buildings, the jungle literally swallowing them, giving an eerie end-of-the-world feeling.
This is an abandoned hotel in a touristic mountain area with ski resorts near Brasov in Romania. The hotel was built in 1903 and inaugurated in 1910 and has been used from then as a thermal resort. In 1942, the hotel was turned into an orphanage, which gives a quite sad aura to the building and explains some pictures and drawings found on the walls. The orphanage closed in the year 2000. The building was abandoned and it is now falling in severe decay, with most ceiling and floors collapsing on one another. These buildings are part of a project of social housings, whose purpose was to relocate people living in substandard houses and areas. The authorities underestimated the reluctance from the targeted people to leave their homes and the social link they had there, and to come in these impersonal buildings. Hence, the project was a failure and was stopped, and the buildings are left abandoned in various states of completion. If you count the buildings with at least walls and roof completed, you come up with 45. But if you add the buildings which were just started and left as foundations with a few pillars and some concrete slabs, it's something like more than 60 buildings that were part of the project and are not standing here.
This building is a famous acer right on the coastline of the infamous city of Pattaya in Thailand. The 53 stories building was supposed to be both a luxury hotel and some housings, what is called in Thailand a condominium or in short a condo, which is a legal status, allowing foreign people to buy an apartment in the place. The building includes an overhang part between the hotel and the condo parts, which was a huge challenge to install. To make it short, the construction was stopped in 2014, as some people filed a complaint about the huge impact on Pattaya scenery, particularly seen from a famous scenic Pattaya viewpoint located on the adjacent hill. Since then, many involved parties are fighting to obtain either that the building will be demolished or even truly completed. But people who paid a deposit to reserve a condo unit likely regret the investment, as there is not much hope for them that they will move in the place someday. I was able to briefly enter the place, but access to the staircases were rather securely closed, and I didn't want to attempt anything silly. So this exploration was a short one, and didn't make it for a full video in the channel. These buildings are part of a large mill in Bucharest, Romania. The mill was built from 1853. The mill has been nationalized in 1948 in the communist era and eventually closed in 1990 from financial difficulties. From 1990, the buildings are left decaying and some of them suffered massive natural or man-made destruction, leaving an area of four hectares and a half as a wasteland with impressive buildings notably the castle-shaped main mill building. Just as for the beer factory shown later in this video, you have to remember that this area is in the center of the Romanian capital city, which looks like a huge waste. However, part of the buildings have the status of historical monument, so that it's impossible to have them either demolished or transformed for another purpose.
These buildings are part of a textile spinning mill in the south of Romania. The company was founded in 1991 and ceased activities in 2004 and the buildings were since stripped and partly abandoned. The exploration didn't bring anything special that would be worth a separate video on the channel, but the building shows interesting volumes in the warehouse and technical areas. These buildings are part of an abandoned power plant, not very far from Bucharest. The power plant was built from 1922 and was extended in 1941 by adding a new unit. The power plant ceased activities in 1971. All electrical equipment have been stripped since then, and only the buildings remain, which doesn't make too much interesting exploration on a full video for the channel, but one can find there some impressive internal volumes and vintage details from a time when men tried to make buildings beautiful as well as functional.
All these buildings are part of what used to be a famous and successful brewery in Bucharest, built from 1895. The brand for the beer was Bragadiru, from the owner's name, but it was changed from Rahova when the factory was nationalized in communist times, from the name of the adjacent street. The initial owner and builder had the idea to put together the brewery and a recreational part, with part of the buildings being used as a bar and restaurant where you could, of course, enjoy the local beer and even a theatre room and a bar room. Today, only this recreational part remains in use, which is called Bracadero Palace, and is home to several restaurants and a grand bar room used to host events. Everything else from the original factory is now abandoned, which leads to a more than 6 hectares large piece of land left unused, most of it left with little or no watching from security. This sort of abandoned industrial area is not on a road, but we are here in the center of the capital city and you just couldn't imagine something similar in the center of Paris or London. Here are the buildings we were able to visit. It's unfortunately very difficult to know what the purpose of each building was, as everything inside has now been stripped. It's also better to visit this place in daylight, as some homeless people seem to use the place by night time. This Buddhist temple has an impressive part built over the sea on concrete stilts in a location not far away from Pattaya city. The temple is not abandoned strictly speaking, but stays unfinished from lack of foundings, as I understand that the monk who started the construction passed away or was unable to get the money to finish the ambitious project. The place is used as a place of worship, but is mainly famous as an impressive concrete sculpture over the sea.
This massive six stories high building used to be a nightclub in the center of Pattaya city in Thailand. The nightclub opened in 1993 and was closed after only a few months of operation for reasons such as evidence of underage drinking. Due to legal issues, disagreement between parties and money, it never reopened and this leaves us with a massive concrete building with huge empty volumes, which were quite nicely used in 2016 for a graffiti contest. These buildings are part of an abandoned hospital in the middle of Bucharest. The place has been built from 1880, with the maternity part added in 1933, and was used as a war hospital during World Wars I and II. Some parts have been upgraded and are still receiving patients today, while some parts have been abandoned in 2005, generating yet another insecure wasteland in the middle of the Romanian capital city. 
There is not much left in the abandoned buildings, but a few small medical equipments, and we had to guess an operating room just from the tiling and the big bolts in the ceiling we used to support the operating light. We also found evidence of drug use, and likely some homeless people guarded by aggressive stray dogs, so we didn't stay long and the place didn't make it for a full video in the channel. This is all I have for you today. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a nice day.